Hello, welcome to my tutorial. Uh, this is tutorial, as the title suggests, would be about creating a halo effect on a text in GIMP. As you can see, we have this effect. This was done with uh, Kino in Debian uh, Squeeze, but now I'm using Debian Wheezy and Kino it's no longer there, probably because it has an release critical bug. So, what do we do? Okay, we'll close this and we'll we have this interview with Sanale Damaruku and we want to add the writing here because we'll make an intro out of this picture. Okay, we'll open it with a GIMP and let's see what we can do. First of all, the obvious uh, thing is that uh, we can add the text try to add the text and let's see interview with Sanal Tamaruku and now let's copy the official title on the present okay font which will be shown but as you, as you can see it's uh, left aligned we want it centered and we want it a little bit bigger let's see and we want it thicker so we use the bold and an easy trick to use in order to center it on the screen you can increase the text box to match the size of the picture, the image, but you cannot do the same for the top because it is bind to the top. If you do it, the writing will go up. Why is this important? Because once you add the halo effect, it will, um, if if the bounding box is too close, uh, it will cut from the image, as you can see here, at the S letter. And we don't want that so an easy trick to do is to just add an empty line and now we have enough room to expand okay so this is i think big enough probably we can make it now it's too big 24 pixels okay i guess it's okay interview with so now let's compare it just to make sure is this one okay quite okay compared to our image it's quite nice okay good enough I'll close this one and now let's get to the dirty business so first of all the writing as you can see must be a white one but we will do that later so we will first duplicate this layer we will make the other layer invisible and now we'll work on the duplicated layer and we can do Gaussian blur and we're fine with the default 5 pixels blurring and now looks quite foggy and you might need some glasses but if we add the... you can view the other writing it looks quite good but it's not white so what do we do let's go back to our base layer and work on the colors we now invert it but it's gone right well it's not gone if you maybe you maybe might see it because the background is not quite white but now it's visible and if you add it here it's not that effect we wanted as you can see here it's not that thick it's not that plain so we disable this writing and we're still working on some 
on the shadow a little bit. We will go on the alpha channel here and move the, sh the alpha to 20. I know this because I tried it before. Okay, and we can make this visible and now it looks quite nice. Compare with this one, it looks quite okay and it's a little bit like it. You can adjust on it, but now all you can all you must do is just save it and then you can do an export as a PNG file and you're done. Okay, thanks for watching. Bye bye.